guys, welcome to the Here Outsider podcast. Today we have here Nico. So Nico, tell us like, tell us about yourself, who you are, and what you do. Yeah, so I'm Nico. Um, I am just a normal person who started podcasting um, and started YouTube around six years ago. And I might be the world's youngest podcast owner in the world. What? That's so crazy, man. Like, yeah. How did you get started and why? YouTube or podcasting? In general, man, how did you get the idea? Why? What's your motivation behind it? Everything. So YouTube was because I was watching, um, there were three people who inspired me to start YouTube, which was Stampy Longnose, Stan CDM, Alex Squid, some Minecraft YouTubers. Um, and I started my channel there. And then like until last year, around this time last year, um, May last year was when I started my podcast because I saw one of my friends um, interviewed a retired Mexican soccer player. And I was like, oh, you know what? That, that, that looks like something I can do. So I, I interviewed my brother and his two friends and I reached out to tons of creators and then that's how I started. How did you, how do you get so such big influencers for you to interview? I don't know. <laughs> I just like send them an email. Um, <laughs> I say something interesting about me and my podcast. I say the people that I've interviewed and then they agree. What, so like you just send them like the titles like Hello, I'm inviting you to, your, to my podcast and you make it long or you make it short? I make it long because if it's long, it looks more professional and it's, and they take me more seriously. But if it's long, they might be, ah, oh, who is this kid? We don't care, like, you know? No, but it, I feel like it gives like a more professional touch and it's like, it's, I start off, hey, I'm Nico. And then instantly I see something interesting about me that makes them, oh, okay, this is interesting. He's like 12 years old and makes them keep on reading. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fact that you're like, 12 years old you mm -hmm. interview people that makes that makes it very interesting you know yeah Bro, and that's during... one of the reasons a uh -huh. lot of people want me to interview them how did you get yes theory am i correct did you get yes theory to interview them yes um i got a mar from yesterday on a podcast mm -hmm. um and that was because i saw one day uh, my brother's friend was with amar at the yes house I was like, what? How? And he was like, yeah, I'm with Mar. And I'm like, okay, that's crazy. Two weeks later, my brother was with him. And I'm like, tell him our friends to go to my podcast. Tell him Mar. Um, and then he said, yeah, I will, but not not now. Um, and then <laughs> after two weeks, the next week, he called me and he was with Mar. And I was like, but I was, I went, he called me at 11.43 and I went to sleep at 11.25, which was the most like annoying thing. Mm -hmm. Um the same thing happened the next week. Mm -hmm. And then the third time, I actually, it was like around 12 p.m. on this time. And then mm -hmm. I I was obviously awake. So that's when I like, pitched the idea. And he said, yeah. And then like two weeks later, we did the interview. And then, yeah. Bro, that was that was so cool. Wait, is your brother like famous? Um, No, I wouldn't say famous. Um, But yeah, he is like the co-founder of a company called Monthly. And they like in they get different creators to do like course for them. Yeah. Okay, so like your brother's company sponsors Yes Theory? No, no. Um my brother's friend when they just because my brother's friend is like my brother has a friend who's like very knows everyone, basically. <laughs> okay. Um and Because he talks with influencers, he does like influencer marketing. Yeah. No, I I don't know, I don't know what he does. Well he's does well, I know what he does, but like I don't know how he knows all these people. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he he sends like tons of cold emails to like people. Um, and this is my brother's friend. And then just one day, my brother was with Yes Theory, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Mm -hmm. So, what is the biggest since you started like podcasting? What surprised you the most from the people you you interviewed? That they actually want a random kid to interview them. <laughs> Yeah, it's surprising. And the stuff I've learned. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, like, I don't know if you know them, they're mostly TikTokers, Max Klimenko and Matt Grazia. Matt yeah. Grazia is a dude that does the money stuff. Max mm -hmm. Klimenko, I don't know if you know him, he does the psychology stuff. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm I like actually, the... I sent him an email, he was going to come on my podcast, and then he never replied back. He said, yeah, I'm down, and then never. Who? Max? Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I'm mostly sorry. replies, but he's very tight on his schedule, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> They're both pretty cool dudes. I'm, and I'm like, the same with you. I'm like, why do they reply to me? 
It's kind of weird, you know? No, because like for me, I get like a couple DMs, but they're like only hi and follow me. So I I'm not going to respond to that. If you, if you just send, send me hi as a message, I'm not going to respond to you. Mm -hmm. um, but like you didn't just send me hi. You sent me like a whole like pitch. I was like, okay, yeah. Do you, do you like my pitch? This is what I sent to everyone. Let's, well, let's see. Okay, I change it a bit. Like the second line, I change it. I didn't make it right. something relatable, you know. Let's let's see. Love your passion, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the first line is good. Mm -hmm. uh, Would you like to come on my podcast? Which the goal is to entertain people, provide them with knowledge, help them succeed. Thank you. Um, just like maybe like include your name and the name of your podcast, and just put the people you have interviewed. But like you interviewed, like I think it was Borza. You also interviewed. Yeah, that's a pretty good dude, man. <laughs> he's he's the yeah. legend, man. He was just smiling. He also I'm came like, on what? my podcast. Yes, on my podcast. Yeah, he's I, pretty cool, I, man. I got him because of you. <laughs> oh, you should, you wait you wait how? I saw I saw you interviewed him, so I was like, oh, I can get on my podcast too. So I so you're the only email. one he get. Let's go, man. <laughs> but I, he's I so the email. cool, bro. Yeah, because his Instagram mm -hmm. got banned or something. You got banned on Instagram. Yeah, I think he told. When I interviewed, I don't know if you saw the interview, he told me like when he grows enough on YouTube, he would delete his Instagram. So I don't know if he actually deleted his, I don't know if he got banned. Maybe he deleted it because he never wanted Instagram from the start. This is what he told me. No, no, no. For me, he just said like one day he just randomly got deleted. But actually, um, no one knows that, that well, none, none of my viewers know the podcast. I have done that podcast because I have like tons of other podcasts I need to upload mm -hmm. for that one. Uh, so that the Borza podcast is probably coming out like April. Yeah, well, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, how do you arrange like, how do you arrange your your podcast? Is it through Zoom? Yeah, I do through Zoom, and they say yeah, and then instantly I send them yeah. Here's some times that work for me, and I send them times that work for me. Like it can be the next week, this week. I, I never say like tomorrow or today. I say like let's say yeah next okay. week because yeah. Yeah, so you schedule yeah. the time because maybe they're busy. Yeah, so what I do is like, let's say a uh, creator, a YouTuber just replied to me. Um, and I'm like, okay, here's some times that work for me. Tuesday, Wednesday, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., a bunch of different times on different days. Then whichever one they pick, I do it with them that day. Do, do you like set them a Google Calendar reminder? Um, Sometimes, it's just, if they ask for it. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to have that because it will remind them not like... And you can, can remind it like 30 minutes before, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the like 30 uh, the day that we do it, I say, hey, just want to remind you, we have a podcast today. Also, um, are you recording? Yeah, because sure, man. Say, yeah, yeah. Okay, because it doesn't say it's recording on the Zoom thing. So I was like, oh, no, I'm not recording on the Zoom, I'm recording on OBS. You don't use OBS? No, no, I, I use Zoom. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, like, do you also post on TikTok or only on yeah. no, YouTube? I also post them on TikTok and I post them as YouTube Shorts. Oh, did, do you have any success with YouTube Shorts? Any, any what? Any success? Yeah, um, I I started a this Minecraft channel um, mm -hmm. where I posted Minecraft YouTube Shorts and they got 500 subscribers. Damn, month. damn, that's nice. So you just do like a separate channel and you do like Nico Shorts and you just put in the in the caption. Hashtag shorts and that's it. Yeah, but this channel is not like under Nico Kuhn's name. It's like a totally different, different like name. Mm -hmm. And I haven't told any of my followers about it. So, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Okay, cool. So And just by itself, it grew. And then I got like a 50,000 viewed video with YouTube shorts, which is crazy. 50,000? Yeah. So you just put, what? And it has to be under one minute, right? Yeah, yeah. And it has to be like square or vertical format. Vertical, like you mean uh, TikTok format? Yeah, or like square. So you just do that and you put like hashtag shorts in the comments? In the description or title. That's so cool, man. That's yeah. like TikTok volume too. By the way, bro, next question. Borza what's... does that. What? Borza does that? Borza, yeah. Yeah. By the way, man, what's your what's your goal with this podcasting stuff? Um, I guess if it like continues to do well, I might like continue in the future because I really like how it's going right now. But yeah, just to entertain people mainly and to learn about, to just teach people like what creators think while they're like mm -hmm. editing a video and stuff like that. What did you like most about Omar? Yes, Theory, right? Omar? Yeah. yeah. Am Amar. What do you like most about him? What did you find interesting about him? Um, he's a very like chill, chill guy. So who else influences did you interview? Except from Amar. I got Borza. Borza, Eric the Botch. 
Who's that? Um, he is like an actor with the IMDb, and he's like yesterday. He was in yesterday's most, most like recent video. He's like thirty thousand subscribers. Um, Jared West or like Yum, mm-hmm. Anfo, um, the editor for the E Boys and the Sidemen. Oh, cool. So, what did you? What Elixir, interest you? Max Fosh. Mm-hmm. What did you interested do you interested you the most about all these influencers? That they all think different things. Um. Yeah, they are just think different things, YouTube wise and content creating wise. Because you you normally think they like all think the same thing, but just no. How do you format like your questions for the podcast? What do you mean by format? How do you come up with your questions to ask each influencer? So I just like look up their name on Google and I like but the first page I just like put all of them in different tabs and just like see something interesting, look at their past YouTube videos, TikToks. Mm-hmm. And get questions out of that. What do you dislike most about podcasting? That sometimes um, podcasts don't record. Well, like all times it has been recorded, but I did a podcast with uh, Fidias. I can't remember his last name. Oh yeah, Fidias uh, Panagotou. He's my friend. He's from my country, by the way. Well, this is why I saw you, by the way. That was from Fidias' story, and I saw really? him because I thought, yeah, that's why we should. Yeah, I'm like, what? So- 12 years on, you do podcast. 12 years old, I was, didn't know my mom's name. I'm like, okay, let me interview that guy. <laughs> so, funny story about that. I recorded the podcast, and my computer had, like, this weird problem. Um, where, like, after... It worked well for, like, a couple months, and then mm-hmm. just turned off. And, like, everything got lost in it um, a couple times. And I lost, like, two podcasts because of that. Um, no. Jack Gordon and the PDS one. I, I normally, like, put them in Dropbox straight away. And since I recorded the PDS one very late at night for me, well, it was like nine. Uh, mm-hmm. We 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 ended at like ten, and I was super tired because up there, like my friends came over, so I was like <laughs> tired. Um, and the I didn't see it drop off straight away because I was tired. I woke up the next day. I turned on my computer. Mm-hmm. And my computer just turned off for like a third time. Um, and yeah. it's just so annoying because like every time they say they take three weeks, they take two weeks. They, they take two days, they take three, three days, and they when, whenever it's like ready, they never send me an email, so like I, I stay more time without it. And now I'm just using my old computer, mm-hmm. it's very low battery life. What interested you the most about Fidias? First of all, no, first of all, how did you find him? And second of all, what interested you the most about him? What surprised I found you? Sorry, him because on TikTok, I found him, um, didn't follow him or anything, but I saw him in Eric's video, so he was mm-hmm. like, I want to interview this guy. Send him an email. I think it was like a day later. He responded. We agreed on a time. Um, and yeah. What interested you the most? What surprised you the most about him? Um, I thought his English wouldn't be as good. Mm-hmm. Um, because when I was like investigating about him, I, I, I didn't see his English chat, his English TikTok. So I was like, have I just got him like a random guy? <laughs> type of type that's no English on my podcast. What am I going to do? Um, and then I saw his English TikTok and I was like, oh, I'm saved. Okay. okay. And then the podcast turned out really good. It was like one of my favorites I did and then just got lost. Why is that? It was really annoying. Um, no, it's because like he asked me questions and I asked him questions. So after like he answered like the first question and he was like, now it's my turn to ask questions. And I kind of like that. That's unusual. Yeah. I think that that guy is like goes with his own terms, you know? He's a very unusual guy. Would you say that? Not really, but he's like very cool. Very cool guy. Yeah, he's very... I don't know. He, did you show his video that one million... He said one million times Mr. Beast? Yeah. To be honest, I'm going to be honest here. I doubted Fidias. Like, what? It's no, like Mr. Beast struggled to say how Mr. Like PewDiePie a thousand times, not Fidias saying like Mr. Beast one million times that's a bit long but it took him like a week and something more than a week it took but he him did it. like 14 days bro his his work ethic is insanity man yeah and he said he wants to like reach out to mr beast next uh, i don't know if he like wants us known but um, well he just said it to me um like in the podcast obviously oh yeah so it's that, okay yeah um that he, he was thinking of like not eating until mr beast like notices him and he was like no mr beast probably won't like that um, but yeah, he, he just wants, like, I think he was, his goal is he wants to eat Mr. Beast burger with Mr. Beast. Okay. Oh, he might do one of those challenges on TikTok where it says, like, does, like, a challenge day one, day two, day three. Like, the one that does, like, I'm dunking Charlie's coffee on me until 
Charlie sees this or something? Have you seen one of those? It's, yeah, I have, but it's kind of like what he did with Airac. Um, he got like his fans to like comment on like his videos and stuff like that. And then, yeah, that's kind of. Damn, I'm man. guessing it's going to be similar to that. I don't know if it's going to be different or. Just yeah, different. which is your favorite podcast episode you've done? Oh, I don't know because I have like so many. I'm going to look at all of them right now. All right. Like, I have done over 30. Oh, well, 26 here. But I've definitely done a lot more than 26. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's only until the. Okay, so not all of my podcasts are on my playlist. A podcast. But all of them have been really cool. I just. I can't like pick a specific one that I really like. Okay, cool. What have you learned from running a podcast? Like, wait a minute. What have you learned? The mistakes you've done in the beginning of running a podcast? Like, did you identify any mistakes you've done in the beginning? Like, you realized, oh, that's a mistake. I should stop doing that. Yeah. Uh, one of the mistakes was I had, like, um, my bathroom door open and um, it just looked really bad. And then when he would reply to the question, I wouldn't, like, interact. I would just, like, he would answer the questions and I'd ask the next question. It wasn't, like, interacting at all. Oh, um, yeah. Like you see so. in the news, you know? Just ask a question. They answer. Okay, next next question. Mm-hmm. It's not like interact. Yeah, yeah, and I've been like interacting a lot more. It's mm-hmm. very important. Mm-hmm. What do you think separates like small podcasters with big podcasters? Nothing really. It's just that they have the power to get. They might get bigger guests, uh, but you you still can get big guests. You just need to try really mm-hmm. hard. What do you think? you should do next what you should do now to level up your podcasting you know Who, me or you yeah you 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 oh um i don't know that's a good question mm, obviously i know i can improve a lot mm-hmm. um but maybe like try making the thumbnails a little bit better mm-hmm. maybe try like before after the podcast ends talk to them a little bit more just to like, like build a relationship with the person mm, um, very good yeah one. What about if you, for example, if you asked, ask a very famous like influencer that knows other famous influencers, if you can, if they can try and get the other person to come on your podcast, or maybe do an IG, IG live, so more of their followers interact with your life and you get your followers to, their followers to become your followers. What about that? Yeah, that's okay. That's good? Yeah. Do you, do you think you're going to start doing that? I, I do do that. Like- oh. Ask if they can get this person on my podcast, stuff like that. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. What are some tips yeah. that you would give to someone that is, that would start podcasting? Um, let's say you want to get, I have an example, Mr. Beast on your podcast. Um, or any of your favorite creator you might be too scared to reach out. Don't be scared to reach out. Just send them an email. Um, and you might not know if he responds or not. If you don't try, you'll never know. Result. true it takes like and one second interact yeah interact with the person you're interviewing a lot more oh okay do you for example with mr beast do you send him like one time email or do you repeatedly send him emails the same one what do you mean for example let, let's say you email mr beast uh no uh, well no you dm mr beast on instagram because i don't think you can access his email no yeah yeah, yeah you can um you, you just need to use his um business Hun- email re- what do you find that on hunter.io no on his youtube about page oh yeah yeah Th- that's a very this is how i found borzak ig U- ig channel i went to the youtube really? about and i found it there because it wasn't linked to his tiktok channel you know i prefer like sending an email instead of instagram dm personally yeah you can get bigger people by email yeah but like it's hard for them to stick to the interview but now with the zoom what zoom do you mean thing, by stick to the interview for example, before I was doing like the interviews, like a few months ago, I was doing the email, the interviews on IG Video Call because it was like this format. And like I couldn't get them from email to go to the IG Video Call. So I got like all of my interviews through IG DMs and none of my emails. Everyone who replied on email goes at me, you know? Um, No, I, I just like, because we're nice. Like, even a couple of months ago, Zoom was still pretty big. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, you could probably use like Google Meet or something or like Skype. So. Mm-hmm. By the way, um, yeah, with Mr. Beast, you were sending like one email or like would you repeatedly send him an email? I sent him one email and then if he doesn't reply in, in between like two months, I sent him another one. Okay. You, you don't plan it exactly two months. You just like, oh. No, 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 it's just like it. random. Yeah. yeah. You don't repeatedly send him over and over again. No, no, no like it, it feels like replying. Um, in the same day, I won't 
keep on sending him another email he can reply in the same day. I know we're like two months or something. Yeah. And um, what's your, your goal is to become one of the biggest podcasters in the world or just to enjoy the journey and that's it? Sure. I'd lo- well, I kind of do want to become the biggest podcaster in the world. I think it would be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously to get there, you kind of have to enjoy the journey. So yeah. What, what do you have any other interests? Yeah. I like to play sports, um, football, soccer. Mm-hmm. What do you call it in your country? Um, I don't know why people get mad when you call it like soccer. <laughs> yeah, but... wait, soccer like the ball on your feet or the American football? No, 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 um, the one on your feet. Okay, yeah. Because in, in Mexico you call it football and literally everywhere else is food, football, mm-hmm. except in the United States and Canada. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Which would be your dream interviewer? The dream person I get to interview? Yeah. I don't know. Um, it, it changes through time. Um, mm-hmm. It's like the person I want to interview. Because in the beginning, it was like, yes, theory. <laughs> and <laughs> boom. Yeah, um, because like, it's your dream until you interview them. And then you go to the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I also got to interview with tons of people I, I like look up to and watch their videos a lot. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, it, it, it just changes through time. The right now who is I it interview. i don't know <laughs> really you go Probably with the flow like, yeah would you like to because interview there, mm-hmm. there's like tons of people that i'd love to interview what if like imp- the impulsive people invite you in the podcast would you go yeah what why not you, like wouldn't you be nervous no no, no. i, I want to be nervous it's like because I have already done a couple of interviews. I know it's just this is the third time I've gotten interviewed. And I know it would, it would just be the same thing, but which as someone who is a little bit more popular. And that's it, really. With millions of followers. Yeah, but, but that really shouldn't, like, get you nervous. Well, I mean, yeah, but it kind of should because, like, a lot of people know you, so you're yeah. getting more benefits and but plus more responsibility and danger because people mm-hmm. like are dangerous some people are good some people are bad you know yeah <laughs> if you could say one thing to the entire world what would you say mm-hmm. i like how whenever i'm quiet you can just hear my dog snore no i can't hear nothing so that's good okay good 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 because <laughs> he's snoring very loud um i don't know i like, like i like how you think it's people like rush to give an answer like i don't know or like are oh, this I like how you think. Yeah, it's too much like pressure to say one thing to the whole world. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, if I say something, right after I say it, I should say, "Oh, I should have said this. I should have said that." So mm-hmm. I don't know. So what would you say? Because, I don't know because I feel like it change because like whenever I'd say it, I think this is like funny or cool, and mm-hmm. then like right after I think this is better or I should have said that. I should have said this. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Would you accept the opportunity to do that though? Yeah, but yeah, I'll probably take like a days to think like good thing. Yeah, you, you would take a long period of time because you're talking about the entire world. You're talking about 7 billion people, which is about 7,000 <laughs> yeah. million or something. No, uh, if it's like go subscribe to make a credit, I'm not going to say that. Um, why not? No, because I feel like it's like a waste of the words you can say. Because you can say anything and you say that, like... I, I'd prefer to say, like, make me the president of the world or something. Instead yeah, but you can, like, transfer your followers on your YouTube channel and yet, then you can say the message you want to say every day because they're going to follow you. But some of them will follow you, not everyone. Not not all of them. And a lot of people don't have access to, like, YouTube. But I, I'll probably think something that's, like, funny. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so next question. What are you grateful for? Everything. Everything that I have. Really. To who? To who are you grateful for? Like, like... What I have? Yeah, for example, like, I'm grateful for the food that I have every day to my mom and, and dad that buys me this food, that pay for this food, you yeah, know? Yeah, obviously, um, I'm grateful for everything I have. Um, yeah, mainly, just everything. Mm-hmm. Do you think you're... St- Especially... Mm-hmm. Tommy? No, no, continue, continue. Tommy, Tommy, what are you going to say? Finish your sentence? No, 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 continue. Okay, what do you think makes you special? Oh, like, podcasting-wise? As a human being, in general, you know? hard question um mm-hmm. most people normally would like say different things about it some people would like this say actually like i don't know funny mm-hmm. some people would say no i don't agree on that so it just depends on the person that yeah but yeah. you personally on yourself like you judging yourself what do you think makes you different from other people and if you think you're special some people don't think they're special hmm. I, mean, I, I think i'm special but i just don't know <laughs> um 
I feel like it is because um exam I don't know. <laughs> do do you feel like you're more mature than other people your age? Sure. Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. Do you feel well, like Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Do you feel like other people your age like how do you spend their time with less important stuff than you? Yeah, because most of them just play Fortnite all day. <laughs> don't you play Fortnite? You look like a kid no, that I, plays Fortnite, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I haven't played in like a year, two years. Am I, bro, bro, you must invite PewDiePie to play Minecraft with you. You should, just reach out to him, like, why not? Yeah, I wanted to try that, but like, if I were to do that, I, I have to like think of like, a creative way to do it. Not just like... Yeah, because I don't think you were doing, you know? Yeah. Bro, I think you must go to the, the odds one out. No, wait, no, dream, the dream, you know? The Minecraft, the Minecraft dude, and then go to his, you know, then go to his friend, like much smaller, and then to another friend, and go build up your, go up, build up your way, you know. That's a smart yeah. way to do it. It would take time, but that's a smart way to do it. Yeah. Okay. My computer has a little battery. Let me just bring okay, my cool. charger down. Can you hear me? I can't hear you though. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. What are you pressing there, like all this time? What? You're pressing something on your uh, left. Oh. Okay. Oh. What's that? It's Nico. Why are you turning off and on your mic? I don't know. It's just like a habit. Whenever I'm not talking, I just do it. Like, for no reason, you just do it. <laughs> just so, just in case, if anyone makes a noise while I'm not talking, it doesn't interrupt. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That's, oh, nice. I just had a, like, realization moment, like, oh, that's so cool, you know? What interests you the most in this world? The people. The people that are in this world. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are some of your goals that you like to accomplish in your lifetime? Let's look at my goals. I have written down. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. Um, Love it. I've written down an app called Notion Goals. Okay. Oh, it's a, oh. what is the app just for where you a, write goals? Yeah, no, no. It's like a app. Uh, it's called Notion. And here I have like the people, my questions for my podcast. For people like I've gotten on, like my YouTube video ideas and everything. Okay, so is that app Notion? Yeah. Spell it. I'll, I'll put it in chat. Oh, nuts! I found it. Okay, so it's about like, to-do list and notes and wikis. Okay. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. Nice. So, what are some of your goals? My goals are um, win the podcasting award. Oh yeah. Wait, when was the podcasting award this year? Did it happen yet or not? I, I don't know. Um, the only like award I know of is like the streamies, which is like for YouTube podcasting. Um. Oh yeah, and last year, um, Logan Paul won it. No, wasn't it Jay Shetty? No, no, no. because Logan I was watching the. Are you sure? It, it was uh, the streamies, the thing YouTube does every year. It's like for creators when they different like things. And who won that? Logan Paul. Oh, I thought like that was two years ago because this year I thought like Logan Paul said, "Bro, like Jay Shetty won it," and then they were like, "Yeah, because he does more interesting stuff than talk about inappropriate stuff like they do." I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I'm pretty sure Logan Paul won it. Yeah, so like you would win, you would want to win a, a podcast of the year. Yeah, podcast of the year, like podcast show of the year. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm, um, do the crossbar challenge with the sidemen or a sidemen. I don't know. Why I wrote that down. Um, mm -hmm. I also have play tennis with David Dobrik. Play like what? Tennis. Play tennis. Oh, te okay. Oh, you know tennis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and I have some other goals, but like go to the Champions League game, get interviewed by Joe Rogan. Go on impulses. Go just like that. Joe Rogan, man. Bro, Sky that dive. dude. Like Bro, that. that dude talks about anything and everything, man. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he just like has three hour conversations about could be With nothing. Elon Musk. <laughs> Bro, Elon Musk. You got Elon Musk on your podcast, man. That's the coolest thing in the entire world. Yeah. Oh, man. Would you like to interview Elon Musk? I'd love to. <laughs> okay, well... Okay, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, or Jeff Bezos to interview? Elon Musk. Elon Musk, man? What I feel like he, uh -huh. he, he's more modern. Like, and, and he likes memes and stuff like that, so I feel like he'd be a good fit. Bro, like, imagine I'm going to say something, and imagine in the future he sees this. Bro, Elon Musk, when I see an Elon Musk video, he talks so slow because he doesn't get enough sleep. I get so bored. Man, you just take like two minutes and? to formulate two words. <laughs> but so he, he probably give you like a valuable lesson or like a, an idea. So. Yeah, but he's like, uh, 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 and he, th he thinks two words in one minute, man. Don't you get bored? No, it's like 
he's an interesting person overall. So I'd like, wait, you know? Yeah, and would you the, like... There's mm-hmm. a, you, you can edit the silence parts out, so... Good point. Would you like to interview David Dobrik or Elon Musk? Elon Musk. <laughs> Joe Rogan or Elon Musk? Damn, I'm hitting you with the tough questions. Every time you give me a tough question, I just stare at my dog. <laughs> For inspiration? Yeah. It's like, dog, speak to me. <laughs> He's like on his bed and like with his head half down. Uh, like, I'll what do you it. want, human? Leave me alone. Photo. <laughs> Oh, nice. That's what he's oh, doing cool. right now. I'm just staring at him. Um, Both of them. At once. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You um, gotta choose. Hard question. Three, two, one. Joe Rogan, because he... Elon Musk. Why? I feel like it would be an interesting chat. I feel, it, I feel like it would be cool, like, hearing from a 12-year-old and from, like, how old is Elon Musk? 30? 30? No, bro. Wait, Elon Musk. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Search how, how old he is. I bet he's like, uh, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, 48. 52. H- how, how much? 52, I think. Okay. Search it up until... No, 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 no. That, that's my guess. He's 49. Okay. Oh, we're both so close. Bro, he's 49 only? Okay, that's so, so cool. I think it would be like an interesting chat hearing like a 12-year-old and a 49-year-old. Mm-hmm. And maybe he'll give you some money, you know? You never know. It's like one million no, for him. It's like, no. one, it's like one euro, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't say no. Come on. If he said that, like, I'll give you one no, million, you wouldn't like, say no. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say to him, give me money. I wouldn't do that. But Wouldn't you? You definitely would. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, bro. I can't say nothing for guarantee because I, would, I wouldn't be in that situation. I have to think it out, you know? But I think no. It's like begging. I, I That's kind of wrong. Yeah, it's kind of wrong. It's kind of wrong, but you can help your parents, man. Run it yourself. Or just... Give it to some poor people. I don't know. That's a lot of money. Bro, one million. You can, I don't know, pay Joe Rogan to interview him. Bro, sometimes you laugh and your mic is off, you know? Yeah. Have you noticed that? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, when you interview, like, big people, don't forget to, like, open your mic, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, it hasn't happened that it's just off. Yeah. I just, like, remember to turn it back on. Yeah. Would you like to interview Donald Trump or, like, um... What's your current president? What's your current president? I forgot. Of Mexico or US? US. Joe Biden. Oh. Which one of the two would you like to interview? I don't know. I feel like both of them would be good chats, good like interviews. What would you ask but them? I don't know. Um since they both got like a lot of hate, get a lot of hate. I would like ask Oof. them how did you deal with that? Like mm-hmm. how did you prepare for like mm-hmm. how, how did you prepare for the presidency? Questions like that. How do you deal with hate? Do you get hate? Yeah. Oh, how no, I you... just like ignore it really. So I see it, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Continue on with my day. Mm-hmm. Why do you ignore it? Do you don't want to think about it or do you just don't care? I don't care. Why don't well, you care? Sometimes because it's like people being like jealous of you or something, mainly. Yeah. And sometimes I don't totally ignore it because it only gives you like feedback. And mm-hmm. even though if they're giving you hate comments, um, YouTube doesn't tell if it's hate comments or like Instagram. So they just think people are interacting. <laughs> give me more views why not you know are you into youtube drama kind of depends hmm. um do you know that woman i don't know her, what her name was that woman he's she's a bit overweight she just this is on everyone she just like offends everyone do you know her is she paid us? yeah that 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 girl <laughs> She's so funny. Do you She's have like, any thoughts about her? No, not really. I, I don't like hate her or anything. I just find her like funny. Is there anyone that you hate? Oh. Okay, that's good. That's good. You, hate yeah. is not is not good, man. Definitely. What's one thing that scares you about the future? Global warming. Oh, nice. What do you think about global warming? I don't know. <laughs> it's just like one of my friends doesn't think it's true, but like it is. Um, how do yeah. you know it's true, and how did you? How did you find out about global warming? Mainly because of school and just like sea levels are rising. You're like it's getting a lot harder in England. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the hottest day ever. So, Wait a minute, you're from yeah. the UK? No, 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 I'm not from the UK. I oh, like, you're from that happened. I'm from Mexico. You live in Mexico? Yes. Bro, which which city? Which state? I don't know how it goes there. Um. I prefer not to say on camera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, maybe for privacy reasons. <laughs> is it safe in Mexico? Yeah. Bro, your accent doesn't sound Mexican. <laughs> Maybe because I lived in the US for like five years, so that's probably why. Bro, Mexicans, I feel like Mexicans and Russians are like full of gangsters, you know? You people are so cool. <laughs> this is what I feel like. I feel like when I talk to Mexican, they're gonna kill me. 
I don't know how racist. I'm. It's, it's like a joke, you know. No, the worst it's stereotypes and like Stere- movies. I'm um, maybe Donald that Trump brainwashing. Those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Trump supporter? No, because I uh, I don't live in the U.S., so like I don't have an opinion on that. Yeah, true. Do you and, think- and I'm not a citizen, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you think really... we're gonna? Do you think? Do you think we're gonna overcome global warming or not? No. Why? It's too late. <laughs> We, it's it's still reversible. It'd be hard though, but we we have to do it like in the next few years. And yeah. there's still some people that don't believe it, so it's like not do anything. So we have to, we, we would have to sacrifice a lot of things. So a lot of things. Which which is your favorite cartoon? Does it have to be like? Can it be like a movie or something? Mm, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Then like Incredibles. Incredibles. Oh, with the one with the like, the big. The family, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. What? Wait, is SpongeBob a cartoon? Yeah. Well, what like a SpongeBob? But there's so many options that you chose Incredibles. Why is that? I don't know. I just like Incredibles. I don't know why I like it, but. Don't you like yeah. Peppa Pig? <laughs> I used to. <laughs> what? What's next? After Incredibles, what's your favorite cartoon? Turn on my dog again. For inspiration, give me inspiration, dog. That's why I have you for inspiration. Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, two thousand years. I guess. What? <laughs> SpongeBob, I guess. Who's that? SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob, Broski. <laughs> okay, okay. So this question would define you as a psychopath or a non-psychopath. What do you put first, the cereal or the milk? Cereal. So the <sighs> the like Good. the little cereal Thank parts. God. Or wet, and like what's like wet, and all like because of the cereal it, and then it, the milk. Yeah, because if you put the milk first, not all of it will be wet, and it's better when it's wet. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know why people put the milk first. It's weird. Do you put pineapple on pizza? Yeah, it, no, it's okay. No. <laughs> Damn, bro. Why? We're gonna have to end the podcast. It's like, yeah, I think you know. so. To be honest. Yeah, I, I, I'll just leave the Zoom. Why, man? <laughs> Why do you have to do this to me? Okay, you haven't played Fortnite? Good. You haven't... Like, you don't put the milk first? Good. But then you come and you tell me, like, you put pineapple on pizza, man. Do you put cucumber in your in your cereal? No! Yes! No, I'm joking. Bro. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Bro. I'm joking. So scary, me, you know? Bro, describe, describe yourself in one word. Bro, if you say human, I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna say that. Human. <laughs> um, person. <laughs> Bro, any thought, any comments about like TikTok banning the super straight people? What do you mean? Do you know about the super straight movement on TikTok? No. No, there's like there was like a movement on TikTok that's the saying that like, they're straight, they're like the opposite sex, and people have been banning these accounts that are promoting videos that support the super straight movement. That's weird. That's weird. The movement or like TikTok banning them? TikTok's banning them. Do you agree with the super straight movement? Oh. Why? Anyone should be able... Oh, yes. Are oh, you agree with the Anyone super straight movement? Be... Am I what? Do you agree with the super straight movement? No. Why, why should they be banned? Just because they like opposite sex? That, that I shouldn't like say, oh yeah, I banned them. Oh yeah. yeah. So you support the super straight movement where people say like, okay, we like the opposite sex. Yeah. yeah. But like, uh... If you're banning them, that's like, kind of wrong. Mm-hmm. What do you think about... How do you call it? W- women rights and men rights. Do you think that we both have equal rights, or like is there not like an inequality of rights? I think there is equality, but there are there are some fair parts. Don't you think like there are some parts of like women rights they don't have the equal as men, and men in some of the, in some other instances don't have equal rights as women? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Any last notes, man? By the way, thank you for coming on the podcast. It was very nice talking to you. You're like much cooler dude <laughs> that I expected. Really? Bro, I thought like, you're, okay, you're 20 years old, you're not gonna, he's not gonna speak, then we not put too much pressure on, pressure on him. I thought like the opposite, you know? That's funny. And any last thoughts to the audience? No, just subscribe to, to him, mm-hmm. like the video. Promote yourself. Um, Nico Queen 25 on everything except YouTube and YouTube with Nico Queen Productions. Oh, on YouTube is Nico Productions? Nico Kuhn Productions on YouTube and everywhere else, like TikTok, Instagram, it's Nico Kuhn 25. Okay, very nice, man. Thank you for coming on the podcast. I hope you have an amazing day and good luck with your 
podcast. If you ever need anything, thank you. Good luck just DM me, okay? With your podcast. Okay, yeah. man. Okay, cool. Have a nice day, man. Peace. Thank you for watching. I will always improve my content so it become better and better by the day. Subscribe and have a nice day. Peace.